welcome back to my channel. I'm going to make three more cards today and this is part five in my series of Christmas cards from the Make Special Cards issue 14 card kit. So I'm just trying to use up some of the scraps that I have left from some making some of the other cards now. So I use this plaid design and um, the one with like all the different tree branches and um, Christmassy foliage in the background and I want to cover up the seam where the papers meet with this ribbon so I'm just mounting that um, using double sided tape and I hide the uh, lace behind the ribbon so I can stick that down without the adhesive showing through the ribbon So I line that up and I decide I'm going to make a bow and I cut the ribbon off at an angle so that it doesn't fray. And then I'm just having a think about the placement here. I don't think I actually go with that bow in the end. But I know I want to use this um, sentiment topper from the kit so I'm just mounting it with foam. And I want to use that tree topper as well, so I use that with some foam on the back of it. And again, I just bring in my T-square ruler to make sure I've got things straight. I hate it when you make a card and you just see it slightly wonky, it drives me bonkers. And as you can see on the topper, I've coloured in the um, grass area just because it looked like the trees were floating in the air and I didn't like it. And I've added some sparkle to the uh, trees. And then I just go in and add some of these gold star. Um, I don't know what they are really, I suppose they're gems. I think I got those in America, so I'm sorry I can't tell you exactly where. Probably from Walmart or something. Um, but I'm sure you can find similar things over here. And that's my first card finished. Now we're going on to card two. And I'm backing the whole card in this um, foliage design again. And I'm going to use up this scrap. Just because I wanted to use this topper and the bottom of the topper would um, get lost in the background paper. So... I'm using this to kind of separate the two patterns and I also want to use these um, they're kind of like rick rack, faux rick rack ribbon borders I wasn't really sure what to do with them and they kind of worked on this one so I figured that I would use them or I'd end up just having them kicking around for ages so I just trim those off and I'm going to mount the topper tag on foam just to give it a bit of dimension because the card's really flat at the moment. And you just see me cut out a little hole there just so that um, you don't see the foam behind the hole in the tag. And then that bow that I made earlier and didn't use I stick on to this tag. And I use a little bit of stickles in the background, that's stardust stickles and I'm just putting it on the berries just to add a little bit of something to it. And now I'm looking for some gems. I think I go with some nice aqua blue enamel dots and I'm just sprinkling those around. And that's my second card finished. These come together quite quickly. Okay, now for the third and final card for this video. Um, I'm using another one of those stickers that came in the tag pack. I think it was like a Christmas present gift wrapping pack from W. H. Smith a few years ago. Um, but you could find any tag this kind of shape to use. And I'm using the Tis the Season um, topper. And because the stickers are quite thin, I'm just mounting that on some cardstock just to give it a bit of dimension. And I also used it to have a white border around the... Um, sticker tag. Then I had this piece of paper that wasn't quite a whole sheet 
And I thought that that didn't really matter because it gave a white element to this card so that my uh, sticker tag didn't stand out because I have two elements of white on the card. So I decided that I'm going to use this scrap cardstock and that scrap bit of paper to make some flag banners. So here I'm just trimming those down and working out my placement. And I just cut a slit in the middle and then cut two triangles to make the um, flag banners. And then I stick those down with double sided tape. I'm just going to lay the paper on top of the cardstock at a funny angle. I just thought that gave it a bit more interest in doing everything straight. And then I'm going to line that um, sentiment flag up with the edge of the card, but I'm going to put that straight so it kind of grounds that cluster. Now I'm having a look through my die cut box and I'm having a play with some of the things I cut out of um, glitter cardstock. So I have some of these um, green twigs that came from the die cuts from the set and I have this make and create foliage spray again and that's from the work. That little sprig comes in the kit and these little leaves and that middle one there that I'm just sticking down came from a first editions set. If I can find it I'll link it down below. And that's my third card finish. Oh I added some pearls as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.